What up, cappers, gamblers, punters? What up, salutes? What up, mama? I'm because it is Friday, July 21st. What up to the SBR family? I'm recording this bright and early at 8.30 in the morning because tomorrow is my dad's birthday. So my mom surprised me with a plane ticket to Edmonton to visit my dad in prison. My dad is currently in the place called the Edmonton Institution. It's a maximum security federal institution. He's serving a six-year sentence. We're hoping to get him out in nine months. He's serving a sentence for armed robbery, and I guess he needs a little cheering up. I will be visiting him with a daily racing form, and we will cap the races like old times, and I will go down to Northlands Park and make our shrewd decisions. If you want to gamble with us, it is tomorrow. The card starts at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. local time, and we're going to get that cash like old times. On the plane, I will be studying more NFL football. I'm very excited about the Beat the Bag contest, man. I'm glad that people out there finally have a reason to gun for the bag, to trash talk the bag. Thank you, SBR, for giving people a reason to come after me because I'm going to fuck you guys all over, man. I'm going to sew your asshole shut and keep feeding you and feeding you and feeding you. And I, not you, will receive the $25,000 in Bitcoins, motherfucker. I'm also very happy that I got to go on the late night on campus with Big Man and Donnie Rideside and preach the way of the bag, the joy way, the parlay way. And so now here is another Jimmy the Bag parlay. But before I get into today's action, I would like to give a special what up to the strippers at the Elite Nightclub in San Jose, Costa Rica. Remember, you can't shower too many times in the day. Feel free to shower in groups and record your action. We enjoy long takes. Don't get caught up in the editing process. Just get those titties sudsy. Feel free to fuck around with each other. Okay, I'm dropping a $300 three-game parlay today, and then I will make three two-team 40-game parlays attached to a live dog. First off, I got the Astros on the road over the Orioles at minus 150. Is Mike Fires versus Ubaldo Jimenez, or as we have called him around my place for the last 10 years, Jibaldo Jizman. Fires is 6-4 and four with a 3.75 ERA and a 1.27 whip. Last start, he looked amazing. He said his curveball was dominant. He went two, he allowed two earned runs, only four hits, struck out 11, zero walks in seven innings. In July, in 17 July innings, he's allowed five earned runs and 24 Ks in 17 innings. He's killing it. Going up against old Jizman. Ubaldo Jimenez is 4-5 and five with a 7.01 ERA and 1.58 whip. Man, those are fucking ugly numbers. He's lasted only four innings in four of his past 14 starts, including last one against the Cubs. When he went, he allowed six earned runs on 11 hits over three and two-thirds. He's a fucking bum. So yes, the Orioles just swept the Rangers in four games and look good. Yes, the Astros just lost two of three to the Mariners and don't have Carlos Correa as their starting shortstop for six to eight weeks. But I will bet against Ubaldo Jimenez, old jizz man, every five days until he is out of the league. He's going to get lit up like Richard Pryor. Game two, twins at home over the Tigers at minus 135 is Irvin Santana versus Anibal Sanchez. Santana is 11-6 with a 2.99 ERA, 1.11 whip, and he was an all-star this year, and he's still pitching like it. Last start against Astros, he said he had no command of his fastball. He still got through that potent Astros lineup. Through six innings and only allowed two runs, his slider and changeup are devastating right now. Anibal Sanchez is 1-0 with a 6.08 ERA and 1.43 whip. I don't know how he doesn't have a loss on his stats. I can't believe he's still just 1-0 with these fucking horrible numbers. But he has been much better as a starter than he has been in the bullpen this year. Um, and you all remember how he had a nice long minor league stint before he came back up into the starting rotation. As a starter, he has a 3.99 ERA, 25 Ks and four walks, and 29 and a third. He hasn't been that bad. But last out, he allowed five earned runs on nine hits over six innings against the weak Blue Jays offense. He's going to get touched, man, touched, and a bit assaulted. The Twins are reportedly going after Jaime Garcia as well, a soft-tossing lefty, really intimidating pickup. But the Twins are trying to get better, and the Tigers are having a fucking fire sale. They've already got rid of J.D. Martinez, who's a great bat in their lineup. And uh, and they do have more moves on the way. So there may be more moves announced by the time the game starts. So game three, 
of my parlay. My $300 parlay is the Dodgers at home over the Braves, and there is no line out yet. But by the time the game starts, the line will be up, and hopefully by the time this video is up, the line will be up. Uh, it is Alex Wood supposedly versus the aforementioned Jaime Garcia, but he may be traded by game time. The Braves are said to be calling up Aaron Blair from the Gwinnett Braves, which is their AAA affiliate. The Braves last night snapped the Dodgers' 11-game winning streak, and the boys in white and blue will start another one immediately. Immediately. And they got Alex Wood on the mound. Man, is he been fucking good this year. Listen to these fucking numbers. They're unbelievable. 11-0, 1.56 ERA, 0.88 whip. He's looking to become the third pitcher in the last 32 years to start the season 12-0. The only two other pitchers in the last 32 years to do that were Max Scherzer in 2013 and Strasburg last year. Listen, he has allowed three earned runs in his last 33 innings. Are you telling me Kershaw's not the best pitcher on the Dodgers? Fuck, the numbers don't fucking say that, man. The numbers show that Alex Wood is the best pitcher on the Dodgers. But we all know that Kershaw's a fucking boss. So, if Jaime Garcia does start, the Dodgers will destroy them. They've been annihilating lefties. But if Aaron Blair comes out from Gwinnett, he's going to get lit up like the firework that destroyed Jason Pierre-Paul's hand. In Gwinnett, I tried to find out more information about old Blair. In Gwinnett, he was 6-5 and five with a 4.92 ERA and a 1.477 whip. Those numbers are not very good. I didn't know much about Gwinnett. I looked up Gwinnett last night, and I learned that last night there was a double shooting, and the suspect is on the run. If you run into Trayvon McBriar, he is considered armed and dangerous. All right, so I have a $300 parlay. Astros, Twins, Dodgers. And I don't know what that number is going to be as of yet because the Dodgers line is not out. All right. Now, I've got a live dog that I'm tying to all three games. And that is the Oakland A's on the road over the New York Mets at plus 145. It is Paul Blackburn versus Steven Matz. So I am going to put a bag on the A's face and bet on them. And bet on them hard. Actually, not that hard. $120 worth. Uh, 23-year-old Paul Blackburn looks like the real deal, man. His last three starts, his only three starts in majors have been very good. His location is pinpoint 1-0 ER, or 1-0 with a 1.83 ERA, 1.12 whip. The AAA Nashville's numbers were good there too, but not as good as they've been in the show. He was 5-6 and six with a 3.05 ERA and 1.19 whip. But the real issue in this game and the reason why I'm betting on it is what's wrong with Steven Matz. He's 2-3 and three this year with a 4.58 ERA. 1.35 whip, but in his last starts, he's getting fucking destroyed. He's lasted a combined five in the third innings in his last two starts, allowing 12 earned runs. He went one plus last start against the Rockies, and they lit him up like an ISIS prisoner. I love Paul Blackburn. I'm taking the A's over the Mets in New York. So I got a $40 Oakland Houston parlay at plus 308. That returns $123 profit. I have a $40 Oakland Twinkie parlay. At plus 326, that returns $131 profit. And I have a $40 Oakland Dodgers parlay. But that hasn't been lit up yet with the line, so that will come out later. That is my action, man. That's my goods. Let me know what you are up to today. Hit me at Jimmy the Bag on Twitter. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, check us out at JimmyTheBag.com. And wish me luck on this voyage to Edmonton. I don't know any salutes. If you know of any salutes in Edmonton, uh, hit me on Twitter. DM me, man. Let me know what's good. Caramel complexion, please. That would be best. Other than that, fuck, let's make this money. Good luck out there, cappers, man. Let's have a profitable weekend and milk these fucking bookies. The fatter pockets and hotter sloots. Thanks for watching, man. Much love. Good luck out there.